But another thing we can do is actually do some quick processing, add some auxiliary channels within the mixer and do some practical things like parallel compression. So if we go into the main stage three mixer, if I go within my sunset kit channel strip and go to the sends, I can actually create another send and I'm just gonna use this bus six. So something that's not being used yet. And if I move my mixer over just a bit, it created an auxiliary channel. So very easy to create an auxiliary channel. And now I can adjust how much signal. So this is a copy of our signal that we're sending over to aux six. Again, this is the sunset kit. And I can send that over to this aux. If I solo this aux, I can hear some level because we're sending that. I can lower it or increase it. So this is a copy of our signal once again. So very easy to do parallel compression. All we're gonna do is add a dynamics processor, we'll add a compressor, and there is a preset here We'll go into tools, classic over crusher. Okay, we could use any compressor settings here, but I'm gonna use this classic over crusher. I have my aux six channel. Actually, let's rename that. Paracomp. You can see that it changes to paracomp in my sends as well. So this is my parallel channel, that's soloed right now. Let's listen to the drums. Should be very distorted, compressed, almost overdrive sounding drums. So we get some crazy distortion there. And what we're gonna do is actually just mix that in. So as I'm playing, I'm just gonna bring the parallel comp channel up and we'll start hearing some of that distortion and that really compressed signal. So even right there, we can hear a difference. Now let's just do a typical compression here. So let's solo our paracomp and let's go up to the compressor once again. I really like this vintage FET compressor here and we'll keep a fairly high ratio. We're gonna bring down the threshold quite a bit. What we're doing here with this compressor and with these settings is we're doing a lot of compression. We're really kind of shaving off those transients, uh, which is a lot of times what you want to do. So the transients are going to come from the clean drum signal, and then we're going to have this compressed signal to kind of open it up a little bit. So let's bring that into the mix. So now already it sounds a bit roomier. And here's without. Now that's a bit over compressed. You know, I brought it up a bit more, but you can adjust that parallel compression channel anywhere you want. So very easy to do in main stage three.